Today on The Harvest is Ready, I'm going to run through how to use my first emanated lower thirds using KDN Live that you, so you can use these in video production or in OBS. Welcome to The Harvest is Ready. My name is Stephen and I hope you all are being empowered by God. Now today we're going to walk through how to edit my lower thirds, my animated lower thirds pack that I've made. I hope you like them, I hope you enjoy them. First step, as you can see here, you need to go to my GitHub account, download the social pack, which is just here. You simply just go code and click the download. I've already downloaded the pack, so let's go over and check out how we can edit a YouTube video and use it inside OBS, or for that matter, any other program. So let's have a look. Okay, now that we've downloaded that file, let's have a look how we can edit it. I've already got one here where you can see an example where I've done it for. Well, let's bring it up. Where I bring it up here for the Harvesters Ready Facebook. Now let's do one for YouTube. So here we got in here the social pack one. We go into YouTube and we open up the. the long okay, what you need to do is right click on this, edit clip. And for my YouTube channel, I've got a short tap link, so I go y2, yt dot the harvest, oh. yep. so I update the file. And then I can render the file. We're going to make sure that we're using the alpha channel so that the black background turns to transparent. So we want to, I want to copy that. And then once we've done that, we can render to file. So it's quite simple. You just simply edit the file, edit the text that you want to change, render it out to the file. And then once the file is rendered, we're about to use that in OBS or in another video accordingly. We will not need to apply a chroma key because the background has been set to transparent. This is not a nice, quick, easy way to create animated thirds. I'm going to be trying to make more in the future. Oh, we're done. Okay, so let's let's create. Let's go over to our OBS profile. So I've got a generic profile here, and I've already got one in here that if we make it visible, you can see I've got my Facebook lower third. Okay just pops over the top of any particular scene that you want to play. How do we do it? We add a media source. So we're going to add in another one. So I'll just go OK. I'm going to browse for the file. And here we've got YouTube lower third. And then we want to restart playing with the source behaviors and close file when it's active and go OK. Here we go. Oh, do you see I made a little bit of mistake? Now to fix that YouTube thing up, we can simply go back to KDN Live. And I should have checked it beforehand. And you can see in here, it's too long, okay? So let's go into the edit this. Edit clip, okay. Okay, and then you can change the font size. Oh, let's um, hide the background here. Yeah. 
show the background quickly. Yeah, looks about right. So we just go update title. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. So if I render to file, we've got all the settings there. Just go render, replace. And through the magic of internet, we'll fast forward to this is completely rendered. We okay. We're just, we're just finished. So let's take a look, see what's happened. So let's switch back to OBS. And if we automatically play and hide, I think it's this one. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. There we go. So there we have it, animated lower thirds that we can use in open source software, particularly KDN Live. So all you have to do, download the pack, edit the te the edit this file that's in the uh, KDN project file, and render it out, and then you just add a media source, and then you can get lovely lower thirds. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. And of course, you don't want to forget about following me on Facebook. So you can follow me on Facebook at The Harvest Is Ready. So, as usual, we've come to the end of another video. And hope you have a blessed week and be empowered by God.